It's going to be a little short video on how I um, physically measure threads. Like, like, let's say this part, I've just clamped a half 13 thread gauge on a 246 block here to simulate a threaded part in the spindle of a, a lathe, say, and how I actually hold the wires, because this is something I see people struggle with. Um, and there's an, a way that I do it. I'm not saying it's the best way or any you know, way is better than the other, but this is just the way that I've done it for a, quite a while, and it's worked for me. So I thought I would demonstrate it. Maybe it would help you out. So you, here's the particular thread wires that are necessary to measure this half 13 thread you know, from the set over here. And, uh, you know, one inch might. So normally I, I start by I grabbing onto the thread wires like this here in my hand. In my, I'm right-handed, so I'm doing this in my left hand. I guess if you were left-handed, you could reverse this, but this is the way, I, although it would be difficult because of the, the nature of the way you have to hold the micrometer to do it left-handed, I guess, but this is the way that I do it. I hold the thread wires like this. So I put two of the wires in my hand here and one like this. Then I, I grab my micrometer and I'm holding it with my, on the, you know, on top of my hand, and I put one, my little finger underneath the anvil, the moving anvil of the micrometer. So I'm gonna put it up on the thread like this, then I can stick one of the wires in there like that. Then I can find the two threads I want to put these other two wires in here. And uh, then tension the micrometer. Now I can feel the, the, the resistance on these two wires until I get it the same or, or approximately the same by, by, um, let me, by moving the mic like this to exaggerate it. And I can uh, and I can make sure that my micrometer is square to the axis of my thread when I take my reading here on the mic like that. And then when when you're done, you release the micrometer and you grab this wire and you can lift them all out and you don't drop them into the chip pan or anything like that. Although if you're running a CNC lathe, I would recommend you turn your chip conveyor off and possibly even lay a towel or something underneath the spindle there because if you drop one of these in the chip conveyor you can lose it real easy or even in a bigger engine lathe it's pretty hard to find that if you got a lot of shavings down in the bed of the machine so that's how I do it just a little quick video showing that 